look, this is great action. What we had yesterday was, like you called it, Chris, a faux follow through. It was as close as you can get um, to a follow through, but we just didn't have that volume. But it wasn't way off. It was more normal volume, but it just didn't happen to be above uh, the prior day. So now today's action with a mild little gap down, that's a healthy environment. You know, that, that's what you want to see. And then being able to take out the highs mm -hmm. and taking out yesterday's highs, I don't think you could have asked for I, I'm actually surprised. Um, we're back up to 21 day now. I mean, this is a different, this is a different animal. This is very important that we're now above your 21 day. So it, it, it's a, it's a really different situation. Now that 21 day becomes our floor. Thank you. That's a that green line there. So this becomes a very important level. We want to start trending above that. Now we could just go back and forth a little bit but that would mean that you wouldn't, you know, increase any exposure. But the, if we can get our low above that 21 day and start trending above it, then you have to be very open to um, trading again. As, as negative as the backdrop is, you know, Bill has always taught us that, you know, at bear market bottoms, we talked about the 09 bottom. I mean, we still felt like the world was coming to an end, you know, it, but the, the charts were telling us something else. Sure, we could come back down and undercut the lows, but you just trade the market that you have, not the, the market you want or you're afraid of. It was, Scott, how do you look at it? Yeah, I, I agree. I'm, my experience is uh, I'm always uh, deathly afraid of the market at the lows. And so I think you want to just put on a little bit of exposure. The math is it works in your favor. If you, you, know, if you have a 10% position in the market, and you lose 10% on that stock. Let's just say it just gets away from you like a Domino's. They, they warn and it gaps down 10%. You know, it, it does very little damage to your overall portfolio if you can keep doing that because then you'll be there when you finally catch that big wave. <laughs>